look for the person first and then just be a, a willing participant in whatever help that they need. It just means putting those disabilities and those differences in the normal box, if you will, so that everybody can just work on the same goal. I'm Aaron Carell. I've worked with Lifetime for 15 years, and I currently work in business services. This is the first year that we've acknowledged Disability Pride Month through Lifetime. And since I've been around Lifetime so long, starting at the clubs and moving to the corporate office, I've always found ways to start something new and to make other people feel like they can be connected. I'll be honest, I didn't know much about Disability Pride Month. Growing up as somebody with a disability, uh, with cerebral palsy, I never really thought of it as something that I needed to even know about. But now knowing about it, it makes me realize how many people look for somewhere to connect and I always have support. Don't be afraid to ask people if they need help. Most people will just let you know, whether it's a small thing. Never feel like you can't ask. Inclusion can be any level of connectedness to a resource or a person. But I think what keeps you coming back to a job or back to a space like Lifetime is those people and the ability to make and see changes that allow for everybody to grow.